Hi my friends, welcome back. I'm so excited to see you. But listen, I want to ask you something. Have you ever been a little bit freaked out ordering pizza? I mean, I don't even watch horror movies, okay? But I know what sort of goes on about it. I know that the music that goes with it makes you all freaky freaky. And this happened to me the other night. You see, I was home alone with children. One of the children had gone away to his brothers for the, for the night, so it was a little more peaceful. But the man-child, he'd left town for the night. He was working really, really hard, shifting his daughter from one town to another, and he did an awesome job with his son doing that. And I was left home alone with the children, and I didn't have to feed the man-child, so I thought I'd order pizza. And Domino's Pizza, big ups to Domino's Pizza because they do gluten-free pizza. So it, it had been raining today. It had, not today. Today the sun's shining. What am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, it was Saturday and it had been raining and it was kind of a stink day weather-wise. It was like I cuddle up with the duvet and watch movies and I could get away with that because I just had a bubba and one little girl and Charlie home with me. I didn't have the extremely active little boy if you know what I'm saying. So we had a bit of a duvet day. I spent the entire day in my PJs. I posted this pic on Instagram. What well, dog? I'm talking here. Sorry, Poppy. Just barking. She... Poppy, Poppy, behave. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, it was very lazy. I know. Do you hear that? Did you hear that? Ever since I lifted the carpet and I've got floorboards down, the dog's fingernails, it's like scratching down a blackboard for me. I hate that noise. Do dogs have fingernails? Or shall we call them claws? So anyway, lazy day. So I ordered gluten-free pizza. I was a bit cheap, you see, because I had a pizza in the freezer for the kids. So I thought if I get a Pepsi and some garlic bread and maybe let them have a piece of my gluten-free pizza, I could get away with giving them regular pizza that I bought from the supermarket. And I was just going to put that in the oven with some oven fries. And um, I didn't time it very well. I had my laptop open and I had just put the pizza and oven fries in and I paid everything up so just waiting for the guy to deliver the pizza which I was expecting in like you know half an hour's time because even though I'd ordered for a certain time I forgot to check what time it actually was. So Domino's were doing a great job cooking my pizza and um, yeah then they put up the tracker. Can you see this picture I posted on Instagram? <laughs> because you know I'm so technologically advanced for an old lady. Ravinda is going to be here in one minute and my pizza's not cooked. Don't panic! I started to get a little freaked because I could see that little pizza man Ravinda on his little motorbike. It was a car by the way. It lied. Domino's you lied. Getting closer and closer to my street and when it turned into the street off my street I'm like He's only like a minute away, one minute away. And I started to freak out because at that particular moment, I was changing a baby's nappy and I had pizza in there. I wanted to time it just right and it was just not going well because I had a squirmy baby on my lap. I don't change him on, on a surface anymore because he might roll and, and it's just too tricky. And then when I was younger, I used to get down on the floor and change babies because they can't actually roll anywhere and get hurt. But now I'm older and it hurts for me to get up and down. That's a bit sad, isn't it? So I had Bubby on my lap and I could see this little motor scooter guy with Rafinda going closer and closer to my house and he was mum. And so I said, Charlie, Charlie, I said, can you get down there and wait for the pizza guy? Now, I wasn't specific. Just, do you have a 12 year old? I wasn't specific in my instructions when I said go down and wait for the pizza. I thought she'd go to the gate and be ready to receive 
served the pizza while I worked on changing baby's nappy as he squirmed. Then the next picture came up. Here's the next picture. Ravinda is on his way to my door. What is wrong with you, Domino's Pizza? I'm a little old lady, frail, on my own, on my own, with children. And I don't need to know that somebody is on his way to my door. And he was very slowly on his way to my door. And I'm wondering why Charlie had not yet received the pizza. We might as well just replace the name Ravinda with X murderer, psychopath, or all of the above. So the psychopathic ex-murderer is on his way to the door. He has arrived and let's just replace the pizza with a chainsaw. So this ex-murdering chainsaw wielding this chainsaw murdering is he killing the chain okay the psychopath is on his way to my front door with his chainsaw and he's going to cut me into little pieces <laughs> a little bit scared. I put the baby down wondering why Charlie had not surfaced with the pizza because she had probably been dealt with by Ravinda the psychopathic axe murdering chainsaw wielding killer. And then I received a phone call. Hi, it's Ravinda here. I've got your pizza. There's Charlie watching from the window. Well, what is that going to do? What is that going to do? I had to go down to the gate and approach Ravinda, who was actually quite a nice young man. And he gave me pizza. So we said bye-bye and had our dinner. But I'm just putting it out there, Domino's Pizza. You make your tracker look like a horror story. It could happen. Be careful out there. Until next time, if you think I may have overreacted a little bit, I'm pretty much like I did in that bug video. Now that was that was justified. Then give it a thumbs up, okay? And there's that red subscribe button, so check it out. Smash it! Smash! Sm sorry, did I get you? Sorry, I'm not a violent person. I'm very gentle. I'll be gentle with you. Subscribe and I'll be gentle with you. And find out more about what we're doing. Catch you soon. Bye bye. God bless. Mwah. shouldn't have filmed that by kneeling on the floor. <laughs> oh dear.